Welcome. Let's provide answer to this question. What's C2023 Federal Mathematics Section B? Question 10A. So if the volume of a hemisphere is increasing at the rate of 21 pi centimeter cube per second, find the rate at which the radius is increasing when the radius is 5 centimeters. So you remember under uh, integration or calculus, we have a rate of change. And the rate of change can also be likened into the chain rule. Whereby we have two different uh, differentiation with respect to two different variables. So in this case, let's begin with the volume of a hemisphere, which is the first uh, parameter that is changing. So we know the volume of a hemisphere. Don't forget, is hemisphere is half of a sphere. What is the volume of a sphere? The volume of a sphere is given by 4 out of 3 pi r exponent 3. Then the unit of measurement. In this case, centimeter cube. So if hemisphere is half of a sphere, then it means that hemisphere volume is going to be 1 out of 2 times 4 out of 3 pi r cube. And I believe 4 and 2 have something in common. So we can reduce to have 2 go there, 2 times divided by 3 pi r exponent 3. So this is the volume of the hemisphere. All right. Now, the volume of the hemisphere is changing at the rate per something. And the rate is per what? Seconds. And seconds is what? Time. So that's the, the rate of change. It's changing with time. So this volume is changing with time. That is also a differentiation with respect to time. So in this case, we are going to have your dv dt dv dt equals to the rate of change that has been given to us as 21 pi cube per what? Seconds. So this is the rate of change. All right. Now, if this is the rate of change, then we are also looking for the, the radius. What is the connection between the volume and the radius? We can also find the rate of change of the volume with respect to what? The radius. As in, we can find the V, the R, the differentiation of what? The volume with respect to what? R. So in that case, we are having 2 out of 3, which is a constant. If we differentiate this, we are differentiating with respect to only R. So pi and this 2 on 3 are constant. So we are differentiating with respect to this. So we take the 3 out to multiply. So let me just put the 3 to multiply. Then the R will be having exponent 3 minus 1. So that becomes R exponent 2. And I believe you can see this will multiply the numerator to give us 6. 6 divided by 3 will still give us what? 2. So it means we have 2 pi R squared. As what? As the rate of change of the volume with respect to what? The radius. All right. Since I mentioned in the beginning, we are dealing with what? The chain rule. I have dv dr. I have dv dt. What is left? You can see v is being used. R is being used. T is being used. So we need to also find the, the change in what? Radius. It's a fine word. Which is the radius? Uh, what is it? Find the rate of change. The rate of change of radius with respect to time. The change of radius with respect to time. So that is the next thing to find. Which is the rate of radius with respect to time. Meaning, but we don't have any connection between the rate of change for the radius and that of time. So this is where the chain rule is applied. So we know I need to have the dr in the numerator and the t in the denominator. So if I first pick 
one of this, this, and this is what I have. So if I pick this, I need this to be in the denominator. So let's say dr over dv multiplied by dv over dt so that the dv, dv will cancel. I'll be left with dr over dt. That's the chain rule. We are looking for dr dt from the already known change, which is the differentiation we have. dv dr dv dt. So I am going to rearrange the two of them in such a way that I will be having dr dt when it multiplies. And you can see it. dv dv will cancel. Then dr over dt is the same thing. We haven't done anything to the equation. So now let's do substitution of their values. We have dv dr, not dr dv. But this is just a reciprocal of what we have. So we write this as a reciprocal, which is 1 out of 2 pi r squared times dv dt, which you already know as 21 pi. So that would be 21 pi. 21 pi is the numerator. It's multiplying 1. So therefore, pi and pi will cancel. Then I'll be left with 1 out of 2. So I think this is 1 times 21. So 21. Then we have what? 2 r squared. So this is what we are having as the rate of change of the radius. Then we are looking for the value. Then we can say that when r is given to us at 5 centimeters, what will be the real value of change? And the real value of change for our dr, dt, is going to mean that 21 divided by 2 times 5 squared. And that will be 21 over 5 squared will be 25 times 2. That will be 50. So this in decimal will give us 0 0.42 centimeters per second. We are looking for the rate of change. So this is going to be 0 0.42 centimeter per second. So this is also an application of calculus, whereby we talk of the rate of change. And the rate of change employ the principles of the chain rule. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Tazunomi Online Mathematics. Like the video, comment and share. Click on the notification button so that you'll be notified anytime I upload the next episode. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.